Hey, everybody, everybody it's Sandy. Sandy. Are you going to say, say your, your name? name? What are you doing? What are you doing? Subscribe. Hi. Welcome, Welcome to, to... Make sure to, to like, like and subscribe. Welcome to Grow Welcome TV. TV. Welcome to Grow TV. Hosted by Taro. Where we have fun with our friends, talk about Jesus, and go over everything the Bible has to offer. Now once again, welcome to Grow TV. So, so, why are you repeating me? Why are you, are you doing, doing this? This, this isn't fun. fun. This is like a non social, social experiment? experiment? What is going, going on, on right now? now? I don't like, I don't like this. this. Are you mad at me? I are you mean, frustrated? frustrated? If you're trying, trying to prove to a point, point, I don't, I don't know, know what, what it is. is. Would, Would you, you please, please stop? <clears throat> are you mad at me? I make are you mad at me? You're your chicken nuggets? You did what? I ate your chicken nuggets. You did what? Yep. No! You didn't eat my chicken nuggets. No, I didn't. Why would you say that? I just didn't like what you were doing. You were repeating after me. I didn't like that. I figured if I did that, it would make you stop repeating. Me. No, I'm just kidding. What's up? Nothing. I guess I was just wondering why you were doing that. Oh, you know. I was just doing a little experiment. Experiment? For what? You see, I was reading this week's Bible story, and Jesus reacted a certain way when a man interrupted him. And I wanted to see what you would do. Oh, got it. Where was the story? Mark 1, verses 21 through 28. Oh, yeah, I remember this story. It's when Jesus went to the synagogue and he was on the Sabbath. Yep, Jesus was telling everyone about God. Yeah, and I remember everyone was super amazed and super impressed because the message that Jesus was giving was something new that no one had ever heard before. What was different about it? Well, everyone before Jesus taught the scriptures like they learned it from someone else. Got it. So like most teachers. But Jesus, he taught with authority. Like he didn't just know about the scripture. He knew exactly what they meant. He understood God's word and explained it better than anyone has ever seen. Well, I bet that was real different for most of the people. It sure was. People hadn't had a teacher like Jesus, so this was all new for them. Well, yeah. It's because Jesus wasn't any old teacher. He was the Messiah, the savior of the world. Exactly. So anyway, Jesus was sitting there in the synagogue. He was teaching and then out of nowhere. Ah! What was that? It was a lot of crying. That's what happened in the story. The man cried out while Jesus was teaching. Oh, right. Well, the thing is, this man wasn't trying to be rude or anything. A bad spirit had taken over this man and it asked what Jesus wanted. And get this, it knew who Jesus was. That's crazy. Sure was. So you know what Jesus said? Be quiet. Sorry? Be quiet. Oh, you're talking about the story. Yeah. Okay. Got it. Then Jesus told the spirit to come out of the man. And you remember what happened next? The spirit came out and everybody watching was so impressed. Why do you think they were so impressed? Well, think about it. That spirit was super powerful. No one there and the guy himself couldn't get rid of it. But Jesus did it like that. And on top of that, Jesus was teaching with authority. Exactly. That had to have opened the eyes of so many people that were there. In what ways do you think? Kind of like eyes open like... like no, Andy. Oh. Pay attention to the story. Sorry. Psalm 111 tells us God is so powerful, gracious, loving, and trustworthy. I'm sure the people back then knew this scripture too. And then the Son of God, Jesus, shows up and starts teaching and healing people. By doing that, Jesus shows that what the Bible says about God is true. I don't know about you, but I think that is pretty cool. You're right, Carl. I think we should always remember that. How could I forget? Well, it sounds like something easy to remember, but we forget things all the time. I guess that's true. I guess my point is that we have so many messages in this world that are coming from so many different places. Our phones, our TVs, the shows we watch, our friends, our family. It could just be hard to understand which message to listen to. You're telling me, I get all these messages from people who are subscribing to my YouTube channel and it's hard to listen to all of them. Totally, but maybe the only message we actually should listen to is the one with authority. Hmm, who would that be? You wanna guess? Is it Jesus? It's Jesus. I knew it! Yes! You see, the message that Jesus shared about God is the only message that actually will last and truly change our lives. Wow, always last and change our lives. That's powerful. That's right, Carl. The message of Jesus is powerful. You know what else is powerful? What? <laughs> what? Are you okay? What's going on? Oh, Andy, Andy, Andy. 
What? You're new to this. I am. I don't know what's... And I'm about to tell you what else is powerful. Okay. I'm ready. I'm ready for it. You just saw a big idea! <laughs> <laughs> Today's big idea is the message of Jesus is powerful. So let's say it out loud on the count of three. One, two, three. three. The, the message, message of Jesus is powerful! Yes! Good job! <laughs> wow, I learned a lot today. So did I. Also learned something I didn't expect to. What is that? I know how to annoy you now. How? Ow. Okay, yeah, not this again. again. You have to stop. stop. This isn't funny. fun. How I'm old are you? you? This is... <laughs> You're, no, a, you're a host a of a TV, TV show, show and you were repeating me like a child. child. <sighs> Are you we're repeating my size now? now? Have a good week, kids. kids. See you next time. time. Thank you for watching and tune in next week for a new episode of Rock.